Hey everybody, it's Robin again. Queen Bee, thought I'd post another video. So earlier I told you that we were going to, I was going to talk about when I realized I was different. Um, probably around the age of four. Um, I liked girl things, um, dolls, etc. And my sisters were given away when I was young, so I didn't really grow up with them. So I had to, you know, uh, rely on the neighbor girls and um, they would like play house and I'd want to be the little girl instead of the boy or the guy um, per se um, and I liked playing with dolls of course my dad didn't like that he would um, he would we would my mom would buy us like like Butch Cassidy and Descendants kid 12, 11 inch like action figures at that time I guess that they were dolls actually um, but I enjoyed those because they were they were a doll um, so um, that's when I first realized that I was different. Um, I didn't really get into trucks and cars much. Um, I tried to be the good son but and the good little boy, but it just didn't work out well for me. Um, I really enjoyed the, the girly things, the pinks and the, and the yellows and, um, and stuff like that. Um, the teddy bears, um, I would put uh, dress my teddy bears up in dresses and stuff like that. Um, so I was definitely different. Um, probably when I was in my teens, um, well, probably about 12, I think mom and dad got divorced and mom uh, married my stepdad in 1990, or 1980, I'm sorry, 1980. And um, my sister Sherry, which God rest her soul, was like the bomb. <laughs> she was my favorite. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the truth. Um, Anyway, she would, um, I would run away from home uh, because I didn't really care to be at home. Um, and I would go stay with her and she would have dresses and stuff for me to wear. And I really enjoyed that. Um, and so while I was with her, I would dress in girls clothes and do makeup and stuff like that. It was really cute and really a lot of fun. And of course, then the police would come and take me back home. Go figure, right? <laughs> so I had to give up all this stuff. Um, and so that that went on for quite a while. Um, Sherry was like the best, uh, my best supporter. She really was. Um, and I miss her a lot. She passed away in 2006, in April of 2006. Um, but her daughter, uh, Jessica, is just like, almost like her. I mean, she's, she's fabulous. Um, she treats me with dignity and respect. She loves me. Um, and I love her back. Um, she's awesome. Actually, I'm going there this year to spend Christmas with her uh, and my sister Patty, of course. Um, I did again. I didn't grow up with my sisters, so I didn't really have that sisterly influence um, that everybody else did. But um, you know, I think I still turned out pretty good in the way of being a female because that's the way I felt inside. Like I knew that I was different. Um, I knew I had like a boy body but a female brain. Like, even at school, I would, like, wish I had, like, the clothes the girls had. And I'd want to play jump rope with the girls and hide-and-seek with the girls. I never wanted to play ball with the boys or anything like that. So it was more fun hanging out with the girls than it was with the boys. Um, the hard part was when I had to use the bathroom, I was forced to go to the boys' bathroom, of course. And I didn't really feel like that's where I wanted to be. 